Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is the monthly love reading for October for the sign of Sagittarius. And the, the deck that I'm using this month is the Lenormand, Gilded Revere Lenormand deck. And that is the box that it came in. It's a very, very beautiful deck. It's a little bit harder deck to read. Um, they're re meant to be read in pairs, so I do go into the book for a little confirmation about um, the cards. A little bit about myself, if anybody is new to this channel, I am an empath. And I read people first. And then I also read cards. So if you purchase a reading from me, I will do an energy reading and I also do a tarot spread. These readings here are general readings that is not meant for all the millions of Sagittarians out there. So if the reading does resonate with you, that's great. And if you want more specifics about your life or your situation, go ahead and email me and we can set up a reading. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you and you want a private reading, you can do the same thing. I offer an energy reading and then a tarot spread. I am not limiting, I do not limit questions and I don't limit the time. After you watch the video, you can go ahead and you can email me more questions pertaining to the reading or if you've left a question out, you can email me anytime. Um, uh, a little bit about what an empath is, is I can feel what other people feel. So if somebody's around me that is feeling down or depressed, I can feel it, I pick it up and I carry it. And it's really, really hard on me. I don't like being around crowds. I don't like being around a whole lot of people. Energy kind of flies at me. I like being alone in solitude, in nature, around water, mountains, animals, that kind of a thing. The things that do not suck my energy. So if you need a reading because you're in a relationship that's kind of sucking and you don't know what's going on, you feel like you're not being honest, somebody's not being honest with you, I can read that person's energy. And if I feel like the person's cheating, that's that's the that's what I pick up. I pick up that feeling of how, how I would feel if I was cheating on somebody. Or if I'm in love with somebody, I pick up that love and I'm like, oh, this person really loves you. You know, that kind of a thing. So I'm very, very good with um, picking up energies from other people. So if you have some confusion going on, drop me an email. And um, usually I can get a uh, reading done within, at the very latest, 48 hours. Okay. All right. So on with the reading now. The very first card here is the tower. And this isn't the same as the tower in any other deck. This is a very strong structure here. You can see it's a tower. It's made out of, out of cement or whatever you want to call this. It's not something that's hard to be knocked over. So this stands as a pillar of strength. So the relationship that you're in perhaps is very strong and nothing can knock it over. This would be very hard to knock this this building over. Okay, so you who are you? If you are involved with somebody right now, this is a very good strong foundation in this relationship. All right, then you have the um, fish, and this talks about prosperity, abundance. Okay, so if you're involved with somebody, when you put these two cards together, the 19 and 34 which would be the um, tower and the fish, it talks about a bank trade center. So whoever you're involved with could be working at a bank, in a trade center, in trades, stocks, something like that. Not doesn't necessarily mean, it's just somebody who perhaps maybe even have power or money, but this really talks about a strong foundation with someone who may have some money or be involved in the money business of some sort, okay? All right, and the last card here is the lilies. This is a very, very nice card. I'm going to see what the lily and the fish have, um, what that combination means. So the fish and number 30 is uh, lily, established business. So this relationship that you have with this person is very strong, okay? There's a lot of abundance and... Um, established. It's, it's an established relationship, I would also say. I'm going to go to the book on this one as well and see what comes up. It's a beautiful card. All right. The lily from Pagan Views is symbolic of sexuality <clears throat> and passion, but also of purity. It can also symbolize motherhood. As a result, these calm-looking flowers with their glass-engraved background reflect a range of interpretations that they are both growing and yet eternally captured in smooth glass without any of their essence 
Without any of their essence shows the two sides of this card. We might suggest that they are a range of excitement, sexual, nurturing, or the abundance, or sorry, the absence of that excitement in chastity. Okay, so what this card here is saying is that this resembles sexuality. And um, with this card here, there's abundance. All right, whoever you're involved with, any of you Sagittarians, it's a very strong man or woman, you know, I feel, and it's full of lots of passion. So this is a really, really nice reading. I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> It'd be nice for me to get this reading. So really, it's, it's a good, strong foundation that you have with somebody who could be powerful in some way with money, making a lot of money, um, but there's a lot of abundance here and a lot of passion and sexuality, okay? All right. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like I said, if you are interested in a private reading, email me and I will email you the directions back telling you what you need to do in order to get a reading set up. All right. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful month of October. Bye-bye.